blood in your stool doesn't mean you've been eating blood. It means that it's probably your own blood in the poo. It's not a good thing. If it's dark, it's better than fresh. Okay, you're not you're not getting it. You need to go make an appointment, okay? Matt, are we got live? Yeah. Well, everyone, welcome to episode number nine. All right, very serious episode, this one. Hey, There's some bad news. No joking, boys. No mucking fucking around this time, okay? Matt's parents died in a car accident. Oh, please don't fucking say Look, that. Michael's had a premonition, all right? And he's Shut seen up. Matt's parents die in a car accident. Shut up. Look, I don't want to alarm you, but he's been right once before. He has had a premonition. Anyway, so um, as a result of that premonition, we're not going to make any jokes today. I'm serious, boys. Let's just t- keep it nice and serious out of respect. All right? And tell your mum to stay off the gateway. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a berry. You upset mm. me. <laughs> um, last week we uh, what's out right now? The rugby league episode on our social media. We filmed that one right after she had a rib snap. So I did just do it. Go and have a look. Uh, pause the video now. Go and have a look. Uh, what else did we do last week? Well, I'll tell you. Oh, sorry. Didn't your hockey one come out just recently? So yeah, by the time they watch this, it'll uh, be a hockey new one. one. No, no. By the time they listen to oh, this next Monday. Oh, the rugby. Sorry. Just <laughs> kind of cut that. No. <laughs> People need to know. <laughs> um, and last week, yeah, um, what, what, what the fuck happened? You're on an Easter trip right now. No, I'm back. Oh, yeah. I'm going away tomorrow, right, for four nights to have a relax because it's been, look, it's been a pretty rough month. <laughs> it's been a rough year. What the? What happened last week? What did we do? We went to, I don't know. We just had admin days. Lots of admin days. Oh, we couldn't film because of the lockdown. Oh, the fucking lockdown. Thank God that wasn't extended. Yeah. Um, and um, fucking here we are, boys. We're ready to just drop a banger. Marty's got his berries. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, fucking, I guess it's time for On These Days. Oh, we were, hang on. We went drinking. No, oh, yeah, we had a we little bit out. of a cheeky night out. Me first. and Matt Brown actually kissed. Second danced. Time, a second time this year, we've had a little drink and we we all just went over to James's um, just to play some fucking board games and just fuck around. And then we're like, let's go bowling. And then we went to bowling. And then one of the boys had a drink. And another one of the boys had a drink. And then we're like, fuck it. Let's just have a little night. And then just- Matt kissed me. Yeah. Matt and Michael kissed. Uh, My- uh, Michael uh, was stirring Julian all night. And Julian pulled a gun and a loaded gun and held it to Michael's head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck. It was it was fun. And Connor from Cracker Milk was with us. Yep, Connor from Cracker Milk came. Good to catch up. It was a pretty fun night. Apart from James got quite ill. Poor guy. Fucking hell. And Michael lost a lot of money at the bloody casino. Mm. Didn't you? Remember that? Our friend Emil had a few wins though. Yeah, and what did he win? Not much, but he put in. He spent twenty dollars on betting. Prostitute, and he came out. I think he came out with like sixty dollars. Hmm. So he doesn't. He's one of those guys who don't has sex with prostitutes. Yeah, he's safe. Sometimes he has a safe in his house, Robert. Yeah, he's got cameras though. Be careful. So, Um, but had a drink, and I'm still. It's Monday now. We're filming. We're filming early because I'm going away for four days, and like, just so flat. Alcohol really just sucks the life out of you. I'm tired. My body's not used to it. It's like we've been poisoned, cunt. What time did you wake up after drinking the next day? I can't ever sleep properly on it. 2.30. In, in the afternoon, yeah. What, what time were you, though? Um, Like 10. Okay. You had to do family Easter shit. I can't imagine that. It would have been so rough. Yeah, I had a hangover. proper breakfast. Did you have to do family shit? Um, I went and saw my my mum and my sister last night. Oh, yeah. sure was, totally was, was that boring? Day. No, so I, my family's good. We don't see each other like every week. So when we do see each other, it's quite fun. Okay. We all catch did up. Did they get you an Easter egg? Mum did. She bought me some shorts. You want to see them? I got them on. Stand up. Them. Stand up and show cute. me. 
I like the tears. She yeah. got them from General Pants. I've Universal. seen the exact same uh, ones. They're thrills, a bar and bay company. Yeah, and they sell thrills at General Pants. Is that? Oh, well, that's part of David Jones. So sorry, it's David Jones. That's actually David Jones, man. Disregard that General Pants comment. Okay, they're not there. I don't want you guys going to fucking General Pants, thinking I'm gonna pick up some cool shorts, and then they get there, and there's nothing but not thrills. So please disregard that last comment. Berries. All right, let's move right along. Okay, we've got a big day ahead of us. We're going to go live on Instagram soon. But first, let's have a look at the On This Days this week. Hey, Matthew Brown. Yeah? Yeah. You ready? Yep. I went through all everything. There's no diary entries. There's nothing. Oh, really? Okay. Odd. Well, must I have got lost in the iCloud. <clears throat> as long as you went to the right folder, I should be fine. I've just been going to the same folder, so we'll see. Look, we'll see. Let's just read That's my and pube. see and see what unfolds. That's my pube from last week. On this day in 1970, Doctor Phil witnessed a mother accidentally drop her baby onto a glass table, which shattered. The baby was cut everywhere and was screaming and crying. Doctor Phil was confused and said, "If that was me, I would just have applied some pressure to that cut and calmly called an ambulance." All that screaming is making things worse. He then realized he needed to become a doctor and dedicate his life to teaching babies basic survival behaviors. Hence the Dr. Phil Show. That's why he fucking Well, that's is why he's a doctor. Dr. Phil Show, yeah. You Do you go. reckon if you're a doctor, oh, you'd have to be an asshole, but it's like when someone talks to you, it's like instead of being called Mr. You correct them. You can go, yeah. no, I'm Mr. Mark. Uh, that's I'm a doctor. doctor. Yeah, yeah. Like you'd fuck, I, I'd kick my own ass. Maybe we should like start that. doing that. We should go up to strangers, ask them a question, and then when they reply, like, ah, 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 I'm a doctor. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't mind that. That could be good. <laughs> yeah. On this day in 1985, a young Cristiano Ronaldo got his first job on a ship. His job was to be the anchor. A steel chain was welded to his shins and he would be thrown overboard. He would sink to the bottom and grab onto the ocean floor as hard as he could. There, he would wait for hours until the captain decided they needed to continue and he would be pulled up. Wow. First jobs are always so funny. What was your first job? Woolworths. I worked in the deli. Matthew was a blockbuster. No, I was Woolworths as well. Really? Fuck yeah, no. it was produce. Checkout? Oh, pro- oh right. sorry. No, no, I did do checkout for a little bit and then I went to produce. Fuck me, do I not miss that life? I miss it because you, I think you were there in a bit, you were part over 18 when you were there? No, I started when I was 14. But when did you finish? Fuck, I think I was doing part time till I was like 22. Yeah, see, that's why I think it might. it's a bad taste. Well, I had three years of like 15, 16, 17, a little bit of maybe 18. And it was all fun. All my friends from school worked there. Yeah. We had a fucking great time. It was a it was a good good day. Yeah. I'll tell you about it later. Sorry. Um On this day in 2005, George Clooney seduced a shopping trolley. He was seen stuffing his dick in between the gaps in the trolley and then flicking his testicles. Cops were called and George was asked to move on. That's a problem, I guess, if you're that good looking. You accidentally seduce random objects sometimes. You know, it's hard. It'd be difficult. You've had it a little bit. Yeah, when I was younger. All right. And that looks to be all of... Oh, hang on. There is one more. Oh, here we fucking go. All right. It's a diary entry, man. Uh, (laughs) Don't. Look, I've told you. It's on the paper. I'm reading it. It's a phone. If it's on the paper on the phone, I'm reading it. <laughs> on this day in 2016, diary entry number 1476 from Matthew Gregory Brown. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. <laughs> she finally emerged. She took over seven minutes in the toilet, so I knew it was going to be good. I looked around and saw my opportunity. I darted into the female toilets and chuckled with excitement as I did. I knew I had to be quick and not lose myself in what I was about to experience. I pushed open the first toilet stall and eagerly sniffed the air. (laughs) Nothing. I moved to the second stall and again was left feeling lost. A horrific thought entered my mind. What if she hadn't taken a brown? (laughs) 
I moved to the third, and my anxiety levels were through the roof. I was already sniffing before I had stuck my head in the bu- and the beautiful smell hit me. A tangled mess of sweetness, a sour notes, and a grand, decomposing meat undertone. It was just as, ma- as magnificent as I imagined. I arched my back as I inhaled as deeply as I could. I wanted the entirety of my lungs to be full of this foul odour. Tears ran down my face as I could even taste the scent. Big, deep breath in, over and over again until I became lightheaded. I snapped out of my euphoric situation and quickly left the cubicle. Back to work, but this time I have a smile on my face and a tingling little brown. (laughs) Oh, I was so hoping it would be that he was chasing the scent of her yeah. shit. And it was. He did not let me down. <laughs> Brown. Uh. <laughs> okay, that was very good. Confronting. I loved that. I fucking love that. <laughs> very confronting. You say it so fuckly. Well, I'm just reading how Matt, Matt has written it. Michael's broken the microphone. Michael's broken the microphone. What's Matt's happened? looking around. He's getting angry, I think. He's licking his lips. He's looking down on the ground where the broken part is. He's just exhaled. Matt just exhaled. Michael's got his hands up. He's very... doesn't know what to do. That Matt's just stood head. up. Matt's just stood up. Now I have to come on camera. And he's just said, now I have to come on camera. You can show off your new shorts. So I'm starting to think maybe Michael planned this to try and get a feel as Matt goes past. Hey. This I'm is going the, the long way. This is Matt's nature. going the long way. Natural right. causes. All right, bear with us for a second while um, our little brown mops up Michael's spill. Little brown cleaning town. <laughs> 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 how we talk off camera <laughs> yeah seriously that's me and marty that's what we do every day <laughs> just to giggle off with whatever the fuck you were doing <laughs> like, like yawn sleeping <laughs> oh that that made a sweat happen oh yeah all right so we're back um sorry about that yeah i don't know fuck why me. that happened we also forgot to mention that this podcast is sponsored by fucking manscaped all right manscaped.com all of your men's grooming needs are there very high quality stuff okay we are yet to cut our testicles with their ball trimmer it's terrifying it's a terrifying thing to do their ball trimmer We'll help you. Michael's using it again right now. Every week, he shaves more pubes off to show the camera. There you go. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's a lot of pubic hair. Like, that's really... And that's so quick. And it's got a little light on it. And they've just announced that they've got a Manscaped perfume coming out. Really? Yeah, they emailed today and said he'd mentioned the perfume. So, they got a perfume. Fuck yes. And I think they're sending some to us. Oh, fuck. So, we can have a sniff of it, Matthew. We can have a deep inhale of it, if you like. Okay. It's pretty snazzy. And we all, this podcast is all, so, oh yeah. So if you want to buy something, 
Use our discount code fully actual. You get 20% off just like that. And it helps us. Uh, what, you, you want to spend $100 or you want to spend $80? Spend 80 I, I think. I think I would prefer that. So use the discount code fully actual. Do you understand? The other sponsor is the University of Michael. Michael? Right here, this bag. And that is our website where we can post everything that happens to us. Weekly vlogs. Sometimes they're th- over 30 minutes long, the episodes. It's like TV, man. Yeah, it's real life it's TV. It's like a real life reality show of our lives. You sign up. If you don't like it, you don't have to stay, but you sign up for free. Do you get it yet? Do you understand what I'm saying? You sign up for free. You watch it. If you don't like it, then you fucking stand up and walk away. <laughs> Well, Matt. Matt. Matt's walked away a long time ago. He'd he's, never even signed up. He's turned his back on his friends. He's been too busy. Busy in the uh, toilet stores. Mm. <laughs> I've been new Matthew Brown. He's been browning. He's been investigating the stores. He's been browning. <laughs> <laughs> he's been browning. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Brown. <laughs> Oh, I'm He's all over the bloody place. Man. Yeah, it's all fucking fucked. Fish 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 right, well, let's move fucking right along. Let's do some fucking Q and A's, Brown Town. Right. Um, would you love to go live? Oh, I'd love to go live. Brown Town. Brown Town. First question is from Elster Ferguson. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a Lister. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Marty, is it fair to say Michael has suffered more pain in your videos and he's a bit more braver than you? Um, look, I think we have both suffered equally. You can see in the videos, it's not easy for me to, to see him in pain. Like, I'm not, I'm not enjoying it. You, you know, f- it's hard on me. And like, you get hard. You fucked me when I'm on the ground. Yeah, that's like a response to my like, distraughtness. It's trauma, man. Like, no one wants to see that their friends going through that. So, it's, it's equally you as hard. You sort of fucking better. So, no. And to be honest, I would love to have the roles reversed one day. I want to throw my body on the line and and then not be so traumatized by what I'm seeing because it's happening to me. You know, that guilt wouldn't be there. It's probably worse but, for you. But it just, it never happens, you know? So whatever, I guess this is just how it's meant to be. So it'll be B, but no, we're even, man. It'll be B. That is good. <sighs> man, it's a hard one. Oh. Uh, next question is from spare underscore rib 330. <laughs> um, what are the best experiences and events that happened to you in the past 12 months? The best experiences and events. Man, that was a fucking weird question. Um, we fucking... Well, to the, we finished last year with a bit of a bang. That was nice because we had a... Last year was fucking rough. It was a rough year. And then the last sort of third of it, we came back a bit. Um, and we, we, did, we fucking did a very cool thing. Didn't we? We kicked the a goal in the FA Cup final, and then that sort of, um, and then we refocused, and uh, yeah, things are things are on the up. Even though this year it's been quite tricky, like personal lives wise, but content wise, it's been alright. It's been okay so far. Hmm. So, hmm. Um, next question is from our same guy, Spare Rib. Oh. Um, what is the first thing you think of when you wake up? Death. Go- going back to sleep. Oh, yeah. The first thing I think is, oh, I'd love another five Do you hours. know a little life hack? I might have said this before. Set your alarm like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., wake up, be real pissed off, and then realize that you've got another like four or five hours sleep. <laughs> or you're just then you're disrupting your sleep though. And then the next time you wake up, you'll be a little bit more tired. I know, but you get that initial like, oh, yes, it's not time to get up yet. I've still got... Or you could, you, could sleep, even, you, you could even step it up and then set an alarm on a Saturday morning at 6 a.m. and be like, oh, fuck, and then realize, oh, my God, I can sleep all day if I wanted to. Yeah, wow. Yeah, so try that one on for size. How about that? <laughs> oh, for size. I haven't heard that in a How while. How about that? How about that? That's song. Catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> How's she going? I heard rumors she's 18 and she started her own OnlyFans. Yeah, now. she broke some fucking record comp. <laughs> yeah, record of <laughs> amount of earnings in an Six hour. Six hours, she made a million dollars on her OnlyFans. I told you to start on that. Sorry. Um, next question is from Dean Pasco. Pascal. Um, Michael, are you any good at guitar and would you ever play it on the podcast? 
Um, yes. No, nah, not really. Like, yeah, I, I played it when I was... I just self-taught myself. I can play... I used to be able to play heaps of songs, but now I've forgotten them all. But I can play, like, chords. All right, well, let's get a guitar. I can't do, like, solo shit. Just oh, I saw you play guitar in Bali on a stage in front of a crowd, and you did pretty well. Oh, dude, I need capo too. No, my, well, that's happening. We're going to try and organize that for you guys. Great suggestion. Yeah, good suggestion. I'll see if we could like... Oh, look, I'll play the harmonica if you want me there. We could write a song together. We, you guys give us a theme and we'll come up with the song. Oh, that's good. Um, this is more of a suggestion um, from Lake McBogan. Here. He said you should try Dave Hughes for the hunt. I thought that was a great idea. We'll think about that for the next one. Well, there's a bit of an update on my hunt, so we might do we'll get this next. Oh, yeah. Um, also, another suggestion was maybe Mark Hunt, former UFC fighter. Oh, I'd be scary to upset him, though, you know? You wouldn't want to accidentally make a joke that he doesn't like, and then you've got this big fucker offended coming knocking on your door mm. where you live and uh, leaving dead birds out on the porch. Yeah, that's why that's happening. Yeah. So, I'll read out his question. He says, what's the worst experience you've had on hardcore drugs such as MD or acid? Um, if you've had any at all. At our um, f- friend's house, just had some mushroom uh, tablets and then they all started hitting me and then like I'd be standing in the lounge room and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to go like get a drink or something and then I'd turn and then I'm at, in a completely different part of the lounge room and I, got, I was like, started freaking out. I just had to sit, sit in the corner and sort of just hope that the wears off. Yeah, <laughs> psychedelics can go wrong real quick. But Ketamine. Rarely though, rarely. Ketamine's good. K holing's fun if you're sober. No, I saw I watched someone do it and they did too much. You were there with me. Yeah, but he was drunk. Hurt. Yeah, I know. It was just a but it's once again, it's just a bad experience to see someone go through it like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like it's yeah, he did fucking not do it. Good it was lucky. It, it was yeah. lucky did it. <laughs> <laughs> he got so fucked up. And then he couldn't he, walk. <laughs> he just be, he slept in my bed that night, so I was just like left alone singing and <laughs> dancing for him as yeah, he was K-hole. We'd all be outside and I'd come in every maybe 20 minutes and Michael would be... Lockie'd be unconscious on the floor <laughs> and Michael would be showing him his asshole and <laughs> fucking with him He's the like, whole time. please look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh. oh, MD is probably... It's you know, fun, but it's scary yeah. Like when you realise how far you'd pushed it. Like, yeah. We should have died. We should have OD. Oh, it makes me time. sick to think about. I still look, it's hard to even do now because it just, uh, I think I've just yeah. fried your brain. There's just been a couple of times where it's just too much. <laughs> just far too much. I think maybe four times where I was just like, I couldn't piss for hours. Remember yeah. at fucking Shami's? Yeah. I couldn't, I needed to piss so badly the next day. And it's like 10 a.m. <laughs> and I like, I, I was stressing so hard because I couldn't stand up straight. I need to piss. I go to the toilet, I try and piss and nothing would happen. <laughs> the nerve was like jammed. <laughs> and then it was such a relief when oh. I finally was able, I was like, like an hour away from going to the hospital. <laughs> yeah fuck yeah <laughs> MD careful with MD because you forget joke. you forget that you've just had some and then you have more and more and then and you have more. some cunt coming around and free pouring bag into your hand <laughs> <laughs> it's just it can get out of hand very swiftly <laughs> <laughs> you were naked that whole party uh, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking old fella hanging out count <laughs> 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 and ever since then that's what my laugh is now <laughs> um, next question is from in the night Andy um, where do you want to retire and what do you want to do with yourselves once you retire I wouldn't mind uh, taking um, taking taking the old girl and uh, when we retire, moving to maybe uh, Mount Tambourine or something and just fucking buy a big fuck off bit of property there and then just live the days out there in a cold, dark room. <laughs> <laughs> and no light, no electricity going there, barely any plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> barely? <laughs> just one pipe. <laughs> That's all. I, would, I, I want to play golf. I just want to fucking play golf when I'm old or young. And I want to- Do you still want to have huts? I'm going to buy a huge block of land. I'm going to put shipping containers on it. Shipping? Shipping. Oh, you should get- You should put a golf course on your land. 
Yeah, I'm going to have a par three. That's for sure. And then I'm going to move in friends or family that want to live there. I'm going to start a fucking commune. Get some cows. Yeah, I'll have animals. And then you can all it's drink the Kool-Aid together. A big long, barn right? in the center. And like, mm. oh, it's going to be the world's biggest slip and slide. It's going to be good. And then we push the cows down the slip and slide. Yeah. Mm. It's safe. <laughs> Actually, I was driving in Albion the day and there's a huge painting on the wall of a building with two cows on it. Mm. Have you seen that mm. lately? Mm. That's special. Yeah. I'll send you a picture. Yeah, please do, Matthew. Pick. Um, next question is from Donut Films. Regular. Uh, do you guys think 2019 was the best year for your channel? Uh, 2019 was a very good year, yeah. That was back when back when social media... Didn't have many rules. People say this all the time and it hurts our feelings. We're like, oh, you guys gone soft. Um, we Yeah, if we posted the shit that we used to do, like even with that, we have a backup Facebook page and I cross posted one of our old prank videos and then I just didn't even watch it, just cross posted it. And then I watched it and it was like fucking, it was fucking intense. I was like, holy fuck, Next this is going to get removed. Then the page is going to get deleted. So we always have to be very careful. That's why we're sort of trying to be a bit more mainstreamer now, you know, but fuck, it's... Uh, but they can watch the heavy stuff on the website. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, of course. They can, you can well, you can always do that, everyone. So if I can get in there. <laughs> but in terms of growth, yeah, in 2019, we, we, we grew. Pain, 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 pain. Cut that, Connor. I'll leave that bit in though. Repeat it, Connor. Put it on repeat. Pain. Pain. Cut that, Connor. Pain. Leave it in. Um, next question is from Final Carnage. What ha- ever happened to renaming the segments? Um, it just... Uh, it, you, there's only so many noises you can make. <laughs> Do you but not... I, I've got a good quote. I answer for this. I think it's just like the three jokes. Sometimes you throw jokes through a season of a podcast and then sometimes they'll eventually fizzle out. Chop and change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah the, the only thing that is for certain is change. Eh? But that. I think you'll throw one in every now and then. Write that down. Yeah. Of course, Matthew. Of course. Next question is from Sun Goku. Uh, what's your favorite color? A lot of people have asked this. You probably said it. You're purple, you're blue. Blue Blue or black. I prefer darkness. I just want to be alone in the corner. And Matthew is red. What about brown? Passion. You should be brown. I've got the name. I don't need the color. Okay. Brown and red mixed together? What does that make? Maroon. Does not. 100% it does. I used to be maroon. Promise? What? What color does brown and red make? Maroon. I was maroon for a bit. I remember. I don't know. Orange? No, 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 no. Um, Jesse Jones also asked that same question about what's your favorite color. Thanks, Jesse. And that is the questions for this week, everyone. We hope you enjoyed that. And now let's move along. Let's get this train <laughs> of chugger chugging through to the next segment. And it's a grand old segment. Oh, it's a segment where we open the gifts and many toys that you have sent to our P.O. box, which is right here, everyone. If you want us to open something live on the podcast, send it in and we'll open it, okay? Let's see what we've been sent. This first one's from... I don't know, but it's got the name of Matt Brown on it. So, someone's just sent us some coffee pods. So, I'm sending Matt some coffee pods. Here, Matt. I wonder if there's anything else in here. You never know. <laughs> I got two of them. Been- it could have been a- Thank you for the coffee pods. I thought it might have been like All an right. abstraction. So, that's the first one. Matt got sent some coffee. This is the next one. And this is from Chris Matthews. It's got your name and then an S uh, in, in his name. So, that's a pretty cool start. I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> Play with puppets. Hey! <laughs> Don't! <laughs> I'm too tired. All right, ready? I'm going to slowly... It's a little box with a gift wrapping on top. And here we go. Oh, ready? Blow up. Oh. Oh, I kind of wish it did blow up. <laughs> okay, I just read the fucking first sentence of this letter and I'm just a bit taken aback because I don't know what's in this box, oh, but it no. says- Imagine if it was a finger. Use my DNA for science and shit. Don't, <laughs> don't fake your fucking trick shot videos. Smile if 
Gar loves menu floaties. All of the love. Sincerely, Chris Matthews. P.S. The toenail hasn't been opened in years. Enjoy. Don't be a pussy, Michael. Smell it. Oh, no. Yes. Um, All right, so I think it's a toenail in here. Oh, uh, we don't fake our trick shots. Yeah. yeah, they're real trick shots, but obviously some of them take more than one take. Yeah, you want this? Okay, so it's- oh, no. Yes. Okay, we have uh, like a the thing that you put urine samples in. This. I'm not in the mood. For Michael. This. Oh, my God. It's, yeah, one of those things you piss in when you've got to test you. We oh. made a promise. Uh, we to made eat promise. everything. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, no. Whoa, what's going on there? Why is it open? Why is what open? Oh, no, it's not. Sorry. Oh my All right, what do we got God. here? This guy is... I'm trying to think maybe, think maybe oh, this no. guy's like fucking serial killer or something. What's that? Oh, that's a big fucking toenail, man. There's a big fucking toenail in there. What's in that one? Can you, oh can you see that? Oh, my God. Can you see that on YouTube, everyone? You have to come closer. Do you want me to hold it up? Yeah. Oh, this is his jizz. No, it's not. Oh, my fucking God. He Cummies sent us his- yummies. He fucking sent oh, us- Oh, fuck. That is fucking intense. This is the first time we've been sent come in the podcast. Fuck. And it certainly won't be the last. Oh, <laughs> oh this is- He fuck. sent his jizz. <laughs> oh, oh right, my well, God. Which one do you want to smell? I'll smell the toenail over the jizz. Oh, man, 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 man. He sent us his cum. He came in this and fucking <laughs> sent it to us. Is it still it's, liquidy? Yeah, yeah, it's yellow. I don't, I don't think we you, can no, show you'd it. You'd think the jizz would dry up. It normally does. No, I don't know. Don't look at me. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Google it. Does cum dry? Does cum dry in containers? <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> no, you think about like when people give cum samples to doctors. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Why, dude? Why are we like this? Why is this our job? Oh, it's yellow. The jizz is yellow. There's probably a bit of residual piss left in the in his fucking urethra when he came all that out. I have an answer. Here we go. Um, the question they asked on Google is what happens when you keep sperm in a container after a few weeks? As long as the semen remains on a room temperature and the liquid can survive easily up to one hour, oh, still cause oh, I can still cause pregnancies after one hour. But um, Jesus. it says it doesn't dissolve. Yeah, see, there you go. It does not dissolve unless it's in like cloth or something. Oh, Michael's just opened the fucking toenail container. Oh, 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 oh he's had a whiff, <laughs> and he looks shocked. <laughs> I didn't expect that. What was it? It was sour. It, oh, like, yuck, man. Maybe it's anthrax oh in a toenail. Oh, my God. Anyway. Uh, so, Marty, are you doing the cum one? Oh, uh, I'd prefer not to. Have a go of this one. I want to see what you think of it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Dude, it's, it's fucked. Oh, you, what? You just, what? Commit, commit, commit. I can already smell it, dude. dude. <laughs> it, it's so rough. <laughs> ah! Smells like super old fucked crusty socks. Oh god. Oh, fuck me, that's a powerful yeah, scent. That was rough. Whoa! <laughs> uh, right. should, should we say like maybe cut this cunt's name? He probably doesn't want this like <laughs> no, like, he, he doesn't say anything about is he knows. People know you send us shit in, we open it on the podcast. All You've right. got to tell us if you don't want us to reveal your name. <laughs> this guy is called Chris Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for doing that. You, you're fucked, but we love it. You're <laughs> oh, no. His Not Instagram bad. is at C O N S. Should we give him a follow? Do we follow people when they send us cum? Yeah, no, we're going to get heaps of cum. I can't read his fucking handwriting. C-O-N-S-V-M-I-N-G dot underscore dot I-M-P-V-L-S-E. Oh, that's too much. I can't type that. Yeah, no, nah, sorry. You got to have simple Instagram <laughs> handles around this joint, especially if you're sending us cum. <laughs> I will keep that though. That stays with oh, everything yeah. this that gets is, this sent. Is, this will go right next to the human shit that someone <laughs> sent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me, oh. man. That was not a... It's different. It's a different day when that happens. Yeah, it's an interesting yeah. one. Some, day, an- some days you get chocolates. Some days you get... <clears throat> um, Common toenails. Mm. That's, sometimes that happens here. 
Oh, man. Well, yeah, that was foul. Let's just be grateful it wasn't a Christmas present. Uh, moving right <laughs> along, everybody, to the Lord. Very good. Uh, as you all know, we're trying to check if Shane Warne can still spin. He's not replying to us, so we've been bombarding his son with DMs. And guess what, brother? We've had a fucking breakthrough. So I said to her, Jackson Warren, I said, hey, dude, how are you? And he replied, hey, I'm good, thanks. How are you? <laughs> That's so shit. So a good start. And then I've just written today, so good, man. We're wondering if you could help us. <clears throat> Your dad was a hero of ours growing up. And we were wondering on our podcast if he can still spin. Would you mind asking him for us? A simple yes reply is perfect. <clears throat> so all we want from Shane Warne, I just want, like, even if he just DMs him and says, hey, mate, can you still, these guys want to know, can you still spin? And Shane replies, yes, that's enough. Yeah, I would like the video of him Yeah, a video would be good, but, you know, I'm, I'm like 80% sure he can still spin. So, like, not as good as he used to, obviously, but he can still spin the ball, I think. Hmm. So a simple yes, you know, we'll be able to tell from his reply. Okay, so that's the hunt update. I'll keep you guys posted. I'm going to keep messaging Jackson, Warren, his son, and um, hopefully we'll get there one day, man. <laughs> nah, it's been it a, takes a time. great journey so it far. Takes time. Let me tell you what about that. German. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. This is a segment where I very, very casually and normally read out a very common German phrase. And you guys make fun of me. <laughs> That's what this segment is. Oh, here hey. You go. Hey, dance, monkey. Ha, 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 ha. Look at the stupid idiot German. <laughs> That's what this segment is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. <clears throat> oh, man. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. Let me Oh man, give me nicht auf den Geist! Give me nicht auf den Geist, man! Oh man, give me nicht auf den Geist! Oh, yucky, yucky. Which means, don't go me on the ghost. <laughs> is that mean like, stay like, means why did don't you get on my nerves, uh. basically. Which is fitting for this segment. <laughs> oh man, Michael! <laughs> Give me this off and geist, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That's the first one. <laughs> so. Du hast echt einem auf den Waffel. Oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> du hast echt einen auf den Waffel, Junge. Was machst denn du hier? Hey. Hey. <laughs> du hast echt einen auf den Waffel, man. <laughs> Ooh. Which means you really have one at the waffle. Which means you're crazy, man. You really have one at on the, the waffle. waffle. Which means you're crazy, man. Fuck. I don't get it, but whatever. All right. This is a very common one. And another very fitting one for this segment. You rude racists. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Hast du einen Vogel? Hast du einen Vogel? Hast du einen Vogel? Heißt ein Vogel? Hey, hey, hast du einen Vogel oder was? Hey! Hast du, hast du einen Vogel oder was? <laughs> Which means, do you have a bird? Which means, are you insane as well? Man, so oh. it's like saying English equivalent. Uh, he's got a few marbles loose or something. You know that translate. That has yeah. nothing to do with being insane. I get it. He's got a screw loose. What? Excuse me? Huh? What? Is he's a <laughs> no, builder? It's not. Is it some same. sort of construction zone? Huh? English shit. English is shit too, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's it sounds better. 
You, you, if you're going to read a poem, you'd read it in English. If you read it in German, you'd hurt someone. When I have Alzheimer's one day, you revert back to your primary <laughs> language and I will be speaking German when I'm 70 <laughs> and only German. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck Alzheimer's. Fuck Alzheimer's hard, everyone. <laughs> fuck it hard and long at night. Let it come into your house, invite it in. Get a nice glass of shandy, swirl it around and fuck Alzheimer's hard. All over the kitchen floor. You can't fuck it. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I've been working on something. <laughs> a machine. It's out of the back. You'll see it one day when it's finished. <laughs> the word machine such a good word. <laughs> it's applicable in many areas, isn't it? Matt's drinking from a machine. <laughs> it's a water bottle, but it's also a machine. It makes sense. It's a water drinking machine. Yeah, holy fuck. Matt? Let's see. Prank call time. Is that it? <clears throat> we could do some. We did true skip crimes. some crime stories, but oh. we are we are almost coming up to an hour, so we can I probably that skip hour that. flew right by, didn't it, mate? All right. Well, let's just do a prank call then, and I've got the perfect one. We have that number that we didn't have last week. Hopefully, someone answers this week. And again, I haven't thought of any Plan Bs. It's okay. This is going to work, dude. I'm confident. <clears throat> oh. Get the get the mic down there. That's what we've been that's 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 all we got now since my farts have dried up. Yeah, fucking hell, they're really gone now. <sighs> anyway, all right, here we go. Uh hello, am I speaking with uh Dane? Sorry, who's this? Do you have a uh, moment to chat, please? Yeah, of course. Um, mate, I'm uh, Constable Jack Burrows from the Caboolture Police Precinct. Um, we've, yep. just, we've just been going through uh, old CCTV footage um, and saw... The, are you the owner of a Holden Commodore? Uh, no. Uh, well, it says it's registered to you, mate. We've uh, looked it up on the system. To me? Do you know anything about the Holden Commodore? We just have um, some CCTV footage um, of a Holden okay. Commodore uh, brushing up against one of our... Um, police cars so we're just trying to um figure out who's done it and um okay yeah it wasn't me because i don't i only have my l's i don't even drive what what car are you drive? what what car do you own dan i own no car so you're telling me that um this holden commoner i've just put into the system it's just come up with your name your address uh, but you know nothing about it uh no i don't even though the number plate rings a bell to you uh, yeah. Listen, mate, um, we're, we're going to have to get you to come in uh, just for a couple of questions, if you wouldn't <laughs> mind. Um, you don't have to come in uh, right now or anything. Uh, tomorrow is fine. Um, if that car is uh, registered to your father, bring your father with you. How old are you, Dane? I'm 19. Okay, great. All right, so you're an adult, so you, you can come in on your own, or you can bring your father as well, but... Um, yeah, that's that's what we have on CCTV footage right now. Um, so yeah, we, we're gonna have to get you guys to come in and um, answer some questions for us. So um, are you able to do that? Perhaps um, maybe this Wednesday, and if not, we can uh, send one of the patrol cars around to your address. All right. Um, yeah, that's all good. Is this? Are you with Jai at all? Is this a prank call? Uh, no, mate. This is. Um, this is this is Jack. This is Jack from the Caboolture Police Department. Okay. Um, yeah, that's all good. All right. Well, great. So, so which is it, mate? Would you like to come in? Hmm? Or do you want uh, us to yeah, come I'll, to you? I'll come in. Yeah. When? When are you coming? Huh? Um, I gotta let. I, oh, I gotta tomorrow. let. I gotta let Tracy know when you're coming in. Hey. I gotta let Tracy know when you're coming in, mate. When are you coming in? Uh, come in tomorrow around what 12. time that about 12 lunch time yeah. well we yeah. might we might be out on lunch mate can you make it 11 a.m yeah that's who do fine. you think you are huh hitting our police car oh well it wasn't me so well it's registered your name mate so i have a really tough time believing that i can smell a liar from from a mile out mate your father's yeah well your father's a pig your father's a pig of a man if he hit our police car 
No, surely this is a prank call. Mate. No way. This is Jack. <laughs> what? This is Jack from the Caboolture Police Station. Do you understand? Yeah, what's your bad number then, Jack? 994? Get a pen. Get a fucking pen. Write this down. Yeah. Let me know when you got a fucking pen in your hand, all right? Cunt. You fucking little cunt. <laughs> No, I'll just write down my notes. Go ahead. 994? Yeah. 26-12. That is my fucking badge number, all right? God. You fucking okay. little slimy cunt. You fucking hit our police car. You think you can get away with it? <laughs> no, fuck off, cunt. This is Jack. I'm Jack. Constable Jack from the Caboolture Police Station. And you bring your fucking slut father down tomorrow because we're going to find out who, what slippery dog cunt hit our fucking car. Do you understand me, I'm, Jack? I'm going to shoot your father. Uh, I'm going to shoot really. him. Yeah, well, you fucking bring your fucking dad. And if he's not wearing a bulletproof vest, he's in fucking danger, cunt. I'm going to shoot that. <laughs> right, Jack. I'll, I'll do that, mate. Don't you worry. We'll see you at fucking midday tomorrow. Don't fucking tell no one, cunt. Father's dead. <laughs> or your fucking dad gets it, cunt. I've just suspended your license. I've just done it. Click of a button. Keep laughing, cunt. Keep fucking laughing. I'll send the boys round. No. <laughs> I don't believe you. I'll see you at 11.30, cunt. Don't you fucking make me do it. Don't make me do it, cunt. I'll, I'll fucking kill your whole family, cunt. <laughs> this is Jack. Constable Jack, you have my badge number. This is fully allowed. Constable Jack. Constable Jack Burrows. Jack who, sir? Burrows. Oh, you must be the, the head the head chief then, eh? I am the king of this police station. I'll see you at 11.30, Jack. I like to say my name at the end of sentences. Jack. <laughs> yeah, this, this is definitely not the place. So who is this? Jack will jack you. Jack will jack you. This is Matt, this is Matt Brown. Matt Brown. Who is Matt Brown? You don't know who Matt Brown is? <laughs> I don't know who Matt Brown is. He's the researcher here. Man, I, I don't know. I'm just waking up, man. Where the fuck? Yeah, well, you, you tell Jai I said hey. All right. Oi, Jai, come here. Yeah? Oh, I got him on the phone. Do you oh, want to talk to him? Did you fucking prank him? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck, he, he's such a slippery bugger. Did he fall for it? Yeah, he's on speaking in here. Oi, hey, oi dude. Sorry, man. It's Jai. I'll put Jai on. Hey, hey, dude. <laughs> this isn't Jai. Who is this? It's Jai. Oh, he pranked you. He sent it, he sent it in. He sent it in. I know everyone that Joy hangs out with, and this does not sound like anyone. Nah, it's, we're, it's Hamish and Andy, man. It's, on, oh, it's not actually. Yeah, you're on the radio. That's how we speak. <laughs> no. You're on live radio, prime time. Yeah, do you know everything then? Uh, I might have a little computer I stole. I'll type a little research. What? <laughs> 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 and um, obviously we're joking we're not gonna actually do anything to his family yeah fucking it's just like we could if we wanted to yeah we could get get the boys round right get a garden tool each pile in the bloody truck Matt you know what I'm talking about go round to his joint and fuck him up but yeah. we're not gonna do that okay cause that was a prank call it was a joke we're not being serious it's just words with the best 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 best